Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. What is the perimeter of this 10-sided rectilinear shape? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So our goal in this question is to find the perimeter of this 10-sided rectilinear shape. The question now is, what is rectilinear shape? So a rectilinear shape is a 2D flat shape that has straight sides. All of the sides meet at right angles. Also, we know the perimeter. The perimeter is the total distance around a 2D shape or the sum of all sides of a polygon. So to answer this question, what we're going to do is to add all of this side. And that's it. But the question is, we don't have the measure for this side. So let's call this as A. This side, let's call this as B. This side is C. This side is D. This is E. This is F. And this is G. We don't have a value for A, B, C, D, and E. But our goal is to find its perimeter. So let's focus on this shape. Now, take note, in this question, we don't need to find the exact value those variables. Now here's the reason. Take note that if we extend this line like right like this, this line like this and this line like this, we create a rectangle because this is a rectilinear shape. All of the angles must be 90 degrees. Therefore this shape on the top must be a rectangle. Now since it is a rectangle then opposite side must be equal. Therefore since we know the length of this side must be equal to 15 units, and this side is A because this is a rectangle, this is B, another rectangle, this is C, another rectangle, and this is D, another rectangle. So, take note that when we add A, B, C, and D, we get a total of 15. <laughs> now, how about the other variables? If we draw a vertical line like this, Take note that this G cuts into 2, so let's have break this G into G sub 1 and G sub 2. Now again, let's draw a perpendicular line like this. Now let's focus on this side, which is equivalent to 15. This side, since it is a rectangle again, the opposite side must be G sub 1, and this is also a rectangle, therefore the other side must be E. And now let's focus on this 5, this side, which is equal to 5. This side, since it is a rectangle, this is also equivalent to G sub 2, and this is F. Therefore, we can say that the sum of G sub 1 and E must be equal to 15, and the sum of G sub 2 plus F must be equal to 5. So, we have now the sum of all of these variables. We have A plus B plus C e plus D must be 15. G sub 1 plus E must be 15. G sub 2 plus F must be 15. Take note that G sub 1 plus G sub 2 must be equal to G. So, we can now find the perimeter of this figure. So, the perimeter must be equal to this side, which is 15, plus 15, plus the sum of A, B, C, D, and D, which is 15, plus G sub 1 plus E is 15, plus G sub 2 plus F must be 5, and the last side must be equal to 5. Now, we add all of this side. Therefore, the perimeter must be equal to 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 5 plus 5, or simply a total of 70 units. Therefore, our answer to this question must be equal to 70 units. And as always, we are done.